content available. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. Let's turn on all our UI stuff. Welcome back to the Clone Wars. Last time, we managed to take Mustafar with a ground invasion force. Now, it's been a few days. It's been about four days since I put out a video on the Clone Wars. Maybe five, uh, depending on when this goes out. Now, I've come to the realization, and it kind of sucks. I was real excited about taking Mustafar, but here's the problem. They keep attacking Mustafar every 60 seconds. When I resume this, less than a minute, I bet anything, this is going to get invaded. Uh, and they're going to keep doing that over and over, and I can't auto-resolve it, because when I attempted to do so, even though they only invaded with like two units, we lost. Two units. We have the some of the finest Republic soldiers, and we were losing instantly. It was, it was absolute crap. So... Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to give up Mustafar. Now, here's the other issue. I, I did an experiment because there were 70 of the biggest ship the Separatists get, right? The, the Trade Federation cruisers. I was worried that it wouldn't be possible to take this planet. Uh, not possible in the sense that uh, we can't build enough ships to do it. Not possible because they have most of them in the system and the game lags to the point that it's almost broken. Can't, can't do it. Can't fight the battle. Not to mention, I believe they're over the build cat that is capable. I think the AI can just keep building units where we can't. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but they have 70 of the largest ship in the game. Right? In, in this campaign. Not in the big campaign, but the, I'm able to build in this campaign. Because remember, this is the smaller Battlefront one. So it doesn't have all the units that the over campaign has. So... Uh, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to retreat with these guys. We're going to get them out of there, if possible. Uh, and then we're going to have to... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to retreat with these guys. And we're going to try to take the planets behind them, is my plan. So, let's go ahead. Let's try to get them out of here. These are stealth units. The only unit that's not stealth. Enemy fleet approaching. Understood, Enemy fleet approaching. Away, sir. Where? Tactical battle imminent. Where? Oh, they're trying to take Mustafar. All right, we're going to auto-resolve it. Sorry, rocket troopers and hyper-velocity cannon. Had to be done because I couldn't play it without getting rid of that. So what we'll do is we'll try to take all these planets, and then we'll do what we know how to take Mustafar. If we use the right units, we can take Mustafar in a ground invasion. And the rest of these planets, I think, are still possible to take, even though they have insane numbers. They're just going to be slugfests, uh, which is okay. So let's... Divide up these guys. Let's send out our recon units Understood, to sir. all the planets right away, that sir. we can. Send out our snipers, send out our special ops Understood, recon group, sir. our arcs. Right away, arcs, you're being assigned to the enemy capital. You're going to Geonosis. Uh, all right, let's see what they've got. So for indoor, they have 13 destroyers. Uh... Large, but not crazy. Are we are building, right? Corsant, you need to never stop building these. Okay. Uh, let's actually flush out the fleet. Units. Give me a wing of acclimators. Give me a unit of dis of dreadnoughts. Um, and then give me some anti-fighter support. Okay. So, this is... We can do this. We can, if With a proper fleet, right? We can do this. If we have to just keep sieging it, we can take this, I think. Um, even Put though they're pretty well defended. Hoth is actually the least defended planet. Uh, not too bad. 19 stack fleet of their of their larger Trade Federation cruisers. We've got 25. All right, that one's going to be a problem. We might want to try to sneak it on the ground with that one. Uh, Utapau could... We might be able to take it with a big-ass fleet. We're going to need a lot of Venators, though. Let's go ahead and speed up time while these are building. So we can get into a fleet battle fairly quickly. 31 support vessels. Reinforcements available. More possible than it is to take Mustafar. We'll, we'll make that decision when we come to it. Geonosis. I really want to do a ground invasion to Geonosis. And you know they're building units right now. See, that just ticked up again. So we can't wait around. we got to move this quick. Or we're going to get to the point where it's just not possible to take these planets. Because they're able to just keep building. At the same time, we need to flush out our space stations. You guys have told me, get that build cap up, Shaq. They're not attacking you anyways. Um, now, sadly, with the issues of this mod, I don't think I'm going to do a big campaign in Clone Wars. But I want to play a big campaign now, so I may try out the latest version of Republic at War. Good news on the Republic at War front. Uh, there have been some new images posted with uh, an attached description of those images that talks about well what they've gotten done so far, and they're getting closer and closer to a new major release. That's exciting. So that, as soon as that release comes out, we're definitely doing a campaign. But I think as soon as we finish this, we're going to start a large campaign of Republic at War again. We're going to do Season Awaiting 2 of Republic at War. Because I'm enjoying this. It's just too bad this has such... 
horrible build cap issues. Like, look at this. 26 of those ships. Not even counting the support fleet. That's massive. We're going to need a lot of Venators to take that out. And once you get to a certain size, the game gets almost unplayable with lag. And I have a damn good computer. Uh, it's just, it's such an old game. It can't really take make use of the hardware. Uh, we still have time going by really, really quickly. We've got plenty of cash coming in. We're just waiting for the Venators to build. I don't want to have... Uh, too many support ships taking up the build cap. Oh, and I want a bulk of Venators to be the backbone of the fleet, much like the actual Republic. What we will grab up, though, um, your command. is maybe some more Dreadnoughts. Here's now, let's grab a production. wing of these guys. I love these things. These Corvettes. Advanced Corvette design available. armed with multiple laser cannons and four concussion missile launchers. Dominant missile weaponry could damage enemies available. even if their shields are up. So, What's great about these things uh, is that they'll just fly off in every direction and kill fighters like crazy. They, they, but they can't handle themselves against anything bigger than well than a fighter. But they have those, they do have those um, multiple laser cannons, which are all armed up in the front, I believe. Reinforcement available. Do we have all space stations built? No, we do not. We can build one more. We can bring up our build cap maybe to two hundred. Can we hit two hundo? Probably not. Well, we should also grab up for our own unit. sake. We have three of these guys. What are they strong against? Really? They're strong against destroyers and frigates. You don't say. But I thought, hmm. We're gonna, I'm going to really try to use these. Uh, the Republic Interdictors. A ship especially designed for preventing the enemy from leaving the system and jamming missile guidance systems. It's capable of taking on uh, oh, Corvettes, which is spelled with an F, uh, fighters, and even some frigates. It's weapon arsenal, but uh, but this ship has an extremely weak hull, so it must oh, not always have an escort. It must always have an escort. I gotcha. Well, we will make sure it has an escort. Complete. It'll have the entire Republic fleet at its back. Same time, who's going to be leading this fleet, and do we have a fleet officer? On board. We don't have a fleet officer. We are going to have a fleet officer. We've command. also got. Oh man. Awaiting your command. We've got Republic troopers now. We got to remember that for the ground invasion. Training. Order him up. Uh, let's actually make sure he gets built next. Unit in production. Because if you have a tactical officer in your fleet, it grants a 25% combat health bonus and increases the sight range of all your ships, which is really good. If you've got some long-range batteries like a Venator has, we need that advantage. Sounds good to me. The only planet capable of producing these ships is pumping them out as quickly as it can. So we're up to 12 of them so far. Let's bring you in. We're going to let it just keep building them up. I kind of want more support vessels. Let's go ahead and grab up a few more anti-fighter ships. Uh, the Venators just don't have the capability of keeping fighters off of them for very long. So we're going to grab them up. And maybe a couple of scout scouting units, units, just so we can scan farther out. We are preparing the invasion of... Available. Man, they've reinforced it again. Do I want to go after Indor? We've available. already thrown a fleet at Endor to weaken it. Indor's the best bet. Available. Yeah, Indor's the best bet. We need to take it. Because we can take Indor, then we can go straight for Hoth if there's any ships available. that survive the fight. Uh, what we're going up against is a 95 stack fleet. It is a monstrous fleet. We still haven't reached that size yet, though they do have some ground ships. Our ground vehicle, ground ships. Yes, ground ships. Uh, they have ground units in orbit right now, adding to that fleet cap, that fleet number. Not very many. It's the support ships that bothers me, right? It's it's these guys, the Kazanti cruisers. They're great against fighters, so I can't get a fighter advantage here. But then they've also got me pinned down on capital ships. They've got 16 light destroyers. Those light destroyers are good. They are really good. These guys are actually supposed to be good at killing light destroyers. So I'm going to pick up some more. Um, we'll see if that's even true. Venators are probably the better way to go. Unit in production. We should at least match them. Oh, yeah, we've outmatched them in uh, in firepower now, I believe. Command. But we shall see. Uh, let's grab up a few Quentin cruisers. Uh, was designed to resemble a smaller version of the Venator class. It has that shield boost ability. This made this well swift and deadly, armed with high enough firepower to take down frigates and corvettes, oh, but lacks the armor against capital ships. Yep, well, you're good against the one thing they have a dozen of, so we're going to build a bunch of these. Don't know why I didn't oh, just build them at an empty shipyard. 
but that's okay. Heading out. All right, slow time back down. How how are we? What are we at? What are we at? Oh, 16. We don't even have an advantage. Ready, we don't even have a capital ship advantage in this fight. Because they're destroyers. Because they've also got five more of their base capital ships. They outnumber us Fall so out. substantially. We may have to start sacrificing ground units. Like We don't need all these defense units back here. Um, how can I just get rid of you? How can I sell you? I know you can. I just don't remember how Rose to do ready, it. Sir. How do you get rid of ships? Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember how to do it. Oh, there, you just right-click it. That's what it is. You gotta right-click it twice. I don't know why that is the way it is, but actually, we don't need any defenses back here. And we've got structures on the ground. They can't even get back there. Yavin is the same way. I don't think there's a direct path to Yavin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the units that we don't need. Oh, this is the 212's battle group. Shit, I don't want to get rid of the 212's battle group. What about Felucia? What do you got going on? Uh, two, twelve, reinforcements, I guess. Let's send your clone captain over. Let's get rid of that. We'll keep the Jedi. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. Crews are ready, sir. Let's move you guys to the front line. Away, no direct route, right? No direct route. Unless they take, like, Camino or something, which they're not going to. All right, the fleet. They're growing ever stronger. We need to get in there. We can't be waiting around yes, too sir. long. Uh, but we still need to be able to win. You're a frontline planet. We're not taking it. Megiddo, you don't need to sell some stuff from you. Coruscant. Actually, Coruscant, you do have a route through. You have Mustafar. No, you don't. You don't have a route through. We can get rid of some of your defense forces. Uh, I'm so sorry to do this, guys, but normal units are gone. Um, I'm freeing up build cap right now, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I don't want to get rid of a Juggernaut, but I don't want to get rid of a Jedi either. Uh, get rid of you. You're part of the fleet now. Good. We're still building Venators. We now have more open fleet cat. Sweet. Let's grab up. Um, bum, 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 bum. What do we want to grab? Unit it says production. the interdictors are strong against the destroyers, but for some reason I don't believe it because of the weak hulls. I don't see how anything could be. Uh, we can also grab up a wing of arcs. Why not? All right. We're at, we're at build cap. We're going to rock it from here. Let's prep and begin the invasion. 501st Hold Dagobah. We've got a nice defense. I know it doesn't look like it. We've got a nice defense uh, force. Except for Naboo. Naboo's actually pretty weak. We need to bring in some more ground troops. Well, why don't you go from Coruscant? Let's reinforce from Coruscant. All right, you should be set. Can I not put you in orbit? Put the great artillery on the ground. Just in case they attack, we can hold them there. Um, okay, no, I can't have Coruscant be empty. All right, main fleet. All ships have reported in. We're ready to begin the invasion. Let's put a, a fleet lead in there. Let's put in a Venator. Let's just make the Venator the fleet lead since it's such a large fleet. Begin the invasion of Endor. One more quick look. 16 and 5. 16 destroyers and 5 of their capital ships. And so it begins. We're gonna try to keep our, our our fighting force clustered into one ball of death. Oh shit, we came out of the fight like right away, within range. All right, well, we're gonna make a nice battle line Welcome of Venators with a front line of Dreadnoughts to suck up some of the damage. And let's bring in a... Let's move out. Pair of you guys, Interdictors. And we're going to deploy those interdictors the second we have a chance. Go after the shield generator. Damn it, you've already fired. I wanted you to go after the shield generator. All right, don't, don't chase them too far in. Don't chase them too far in. Deploy your anti-missile jamming fields. Protect the fleet. Do they just stay on? I think they just stay on. That's really cool. Take out the support vessels. Yes, take out the support vessels. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. You guys can do it in like one run, right? General. Yeah, almost, almost. You almost did it. You almost did it. Bombers. Into the fray. 
Actually, Here lead them come. in. Let them chase you. Throw Let them chase stuff. you back to the They're fleet, the and the Venators will be able to take that out, no problem. Here we come. Did we get the shield generator? Oh, you guys almost took it out. I pulled you back. Shit. That's okay. I don't want to just throw away units here. Uh, all right, Y-Wings. Y-Wings, begin your run-up. Arcs, begin your run-up. Let's do it. We're coming in. I want all BTLs take out that defensive station while the Arcs come in and take out the support vessels. Torpedoes are away. Might not have been enough torpedoes. To do jo either job. Damn it. That was my that was my bad. That was my bad. Watch it! Bring in another Venator. Just fall back. Come on. Chase me. Chase me. Damn it. They didn't chase me in. I was really hoping they would. We're gonna have to move this battle group forward. Now the problem with moving a battle group forward that's in such a perfect formation and this is they're gonna spread out. They always spread out. They never hold their formation, even though you you know you get them just where you want them. What? Oh, you can see him and you can't shoot him, so that's outside your guys' range. I wish, if they ever do a sequel to this, um, they need to make it so Our when you click a unit here. and you hit Alt, you see the firing range of a ship. I would really like to be able to see that. Okay. We need to move the fleet up. That's our only objective. We just gotta move the fleet up. Dreadnoughts first. Cruiser ready, sir. Star Cruiser standing Point by. man. Roger that. And don't turn off. General. Don't veer front. off like you love to. There Fall he goes. Up. Don't veer off. Just come in underneath him. You're fine. You're fine. Awaiting orders. Let's move out. Let's go. All right, we're now in range. You guys should be able to exchange fire, and you should overwhelm him with gunfire at this Copy. point. Torpedoes away. Let's your disable your Close missile ability and move enemy. you up. Here we come. This is what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. All right. Let's out firepower them. Open fire. Don't go in. Yes, Commander. Deploy the anti-missile fields. Arcs, get your asses up here. How is your shield? Don't, don't let your shield fail. Damn it! What is taking out your shield? Dreadnoughts. You guys, actually, let's bring in the uh, the guys with the engines. Quentin's come in. Good, the fighters. You got the work done. All right, take out that enemy fighter group. So our, our objective with a group of fighters needs to be to take out the enemy hangar bay. And that's going to cost us that. But if we do it, every kill we get, let's bring in a carrier group is what we're going to do next. We're going to bring in a carrier group so we can get the bombers to take care of this mission. It's a high-risk mission, gentlemen. It's for the Republic. I feel like you guys can do this. The carrier group has arrived, and they're starting to deploy their fighters. Cruiser standing by. We're going to dispatch a group of BTLs deep into enemy territory. We're going to deep strike. It's probably going to lose most of them, but we're going to take out that hangar bay. We're going to take out that hangar bay. If we can break them up into groups, I just don't know how many into it's going to take. Here we come. Fall back. I don't know why you're even there. Well, yes, away, bait sir. them back. If we can take out more support vessels, I will be a very happy man. Waiting at target, sir. Uh, if we take out their shield generator on that thing, too, I'd be really happy. Good God, look at this crowd. What is that? What even is that? What do you do with that? You don't do anything with that. That is chaos. We're letting his shields come back. Yes, we're taking our time with this. Well, we just lost that fighter. Come on, guys. This is your moment. I see torpedoes. Good, good. They're breaking through the shield. Excellent. All right. We're going to do it. We got to take out the hangar bay. Now, what I was saying before was, if you take the hangar bay out... They won't be able to bring in any more units, so what we kill stays dead. They outnumber us here. We can't it, remember. We can't forget that they outnumber us in capital ships. So we, for every capital we kill, there I want to kill come. two of theirs. Or for every one we oh, lose, yeah. we need to kill at least two of theirs. Hey, alert, boys. we'll All take that. We'll take that. V wings, come here. Boys. I'm gonna put you guys All as group one. I know I'm taking my time with this battle, but I really want to keep this fleet alive as best as possible, not just because you know, the that's the thing to do, but because I want to take Hoth next, and we need the fleet alive to do that. Get your asses come. over here. Capture this. We're going to put an anti-capital ship turret. I say I want to keep them alive. I could build a repair facility, but it's always so slow. Cannot repair hard points that have been completely destroyed. Building so you have always started. thought that should, be, uh, that should be changed. Because it makes it basically uh, useless. Um, let's wait till the turret is operational. Let's bring in a scout. I know we're not even close to being through our, our build cap here. We can actually uh, move these guys around a little bit. 
Uh, I'm, I'm saving the, uh, the, the fleet front. reinforced so I can bring them in right when we need to. Because we got to get our fleet, which is already bigger than this gap, through here. And that's going to be a problem. Hold your come. fire. I know you want to take that. Actually, complete. you guys can just take it out. Just kill it. Torpedoes are away. Oh my god, they didn't kill it? Okay. Alert, you should be Four able to reload your proton down. torpedoes by the time you Into get within range. Copy that. Give me a sensor ping on the target. Damn it, I missed the target. target and their fighters are moving to, to counter us. Here All right, we move in. Come. We still don't have eyes on. God damn it, where's the station? Away, where's the station? There it is. Nothing the hangar bay has been targeted. Can't take much more of this. Come on, boys. Watch that crossfire. Stay on target. Good. Torpedoes are away. Is it enough? Fire. Come on! Oh, it's not enough! Can't take much more of this. Target the shield Get generator! Me. Target the shield generator! If anybody survives. Fire. Half the fleet's still alive. Take it fire. They're Can't not going to be able to do it, and I'm not going to be able Watch to pull it. them out. They're dead. They managed Can't to accomplish their goal, though, and Watch there it. are no other take reinforcement fire. points. Alert, ah, fuck boys. it. See if you can make more it out. Into the fray. Can't take much more of this. All right. That cost us. That cost us every bummer we had, but it was worth it. It was worth it. That means every capital ship we kill now, every support vessel we take down, will not be replaced. No more free units for them. Um, all right, damn. Well, how many Waiting BTLs do we have left? All right, we've got two squadrons left. I'm gonna make you guys group two. General. And we're gonna try to start moving this fleet into position. Yes, sir. Engines active. Moving Let's out. set up the fighter Waiting squadron and the Quintons over here. Let's move in group there two bombers come. into the asteroid Rolling, field. Sir. Light them up. Same with the arcs. We'll just move you guys over, and then we'll start moving the carrier group to support. Just don't go in the asteroid. Confirmed. Right away. Where are you actually moving to? See, look at that. Look at that spread. That's where they're moving to. No. Roger that. You're gonna go right here. No, it's still farther out than I wanted you to go. I hate how spread out they get. You here? Moving out. Here. Actually, all of you now, just stop. Just stop moving. Stop everything you're doing. You're done. Cruiser here. Fall out. Reporting in. Let's move out. Get over here. We're gonna organize General. this damn fleet. It's the last thing I do. Yes, right away, sir. Into the fray. We're gonna have to bring in anti-fighter support for this group because all they've got is a Waiting couple of these. Um, oh god, what are these guys called? The V19 deterrent fighters. Yeah. Weapons ready, sir. All right. Weapons online. Bring it over. What are they firing at? Oh, you have a chance to Waiting take out another target, support sir. vessel. Take him down. Y-Wing squadron is clear to engage. General. Target the enemy vessel. That's right. You're not going to sit in the middle of the fleet and Stay pick alert, off my boys. fighters. Not All this time. Oh, man. Inbound. I don't know what they're up to, but it's gotten just a little Reporting. bit laggy. Keep going. I would use my Keep scout quick. to scan, but it's just not worth it. All right. Over there. You guys are... Oh, that's actually good. That works for me. That works for me. Move in. We need to bait the enemy fleet out and away from the station. Not sure how we're gonna do that. We have 15 Venators. So if it gets into a slug match, we can do it. Let's... Here we come. Oh, we have eyes on. We're firing now. We can do a nice broadside Venator group right here. Let's go ahead and start up the battle. Our space station is under attack. All defensive systems are online. Yes, Actually, I'm going to turn on your defensive systems. That'll holding. stop that. Bring in a couple of One dreadnoughts. All right, here we go. Into the I'm bringing in the bomber groups. I'm bringing All in more firepower for the front line. I can just barely more. squeeze these guys in. Bring in Almost the fleet, bring in the fleet. Gone. Look at the firepower they're bringing in. All right, Our this is the time. Down to bring in all of our anti-fighter corvettes on this side. Well, as many as we can. All right, left-hand side fleet. Are you deployed? And why are you still moving? Take him down. Boost firepower to weapons. Take him down. I feel like we're doing pretty good, though. The support fleet that was here is dead. You can see their ground troops here. We've taken out another shield generator. Shield generator sit on that. All right, bombers, target the shield generator on the next capital ship that they've got. Make your run. Do we have any arcs in the field? My god, we've got arcs in the field. All right, same, same deal for you. Take out their shield generator. 
We can bring in another Venator. Can't take much more of this. Watch it. Let's do it. Let's bring in another Venator. Come on, boys. I need you to take out those enemy fighters. Take out those enemy star fighters. That's what I've got you guys for. Oh, they're making they're making short work. They're firing missiles everywhere. Take out those droid star fighters. I'm happy to see that you guys have managed to find a target. See, this is why you've got to separate your fleet. I'm bottlenecked right here is the issue that I'm running into. I love that you guys are trying to take out the shield generator, but take out... Oh, boy. All right. Bringing in reinforcements. Bringing in dreadnoughts. Into the center. All right. I'm going to bring in some of our anti-fighter cruisers. They can shoot through shields. We're going to punch through these guys and get up. The three more reinforcements are coming in now from the north. How many more do they have? About five of them up there? Our arcs have made it, and they've taken out the shield generator. Now target the communications array and take it down. Now, we had this conversation. All power to weapons. All power to weapons. We had this conversation in the chat about communications array and what they do. Uh, I'm under the impression they don't have anything to do with calling in reinforcements. But I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure because it, it seems like they're still getting reinforcements. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Use your toy defense systems while the other ships take them down. This is a hell of a battle. Did we take out that frigate? We chased it, and we, like, pushed it all the way back. Come on, he's got, like, no health left. Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? No. It's not gonna happen. Oh, and this one's got, like, no health either. Alright. I'm ordering the retreat. We might be able to save one Venator, because I think everybody else's engines are down, because the enemy auto-targets engines first. Yeah, we're trying to save this guy, the Defender. The shield's on holding. Come on, we can get you out of there. Your shields are still up. And the enemy fighter force decided not to just rampage us. Do, do the Separatists get a limit to the fighters that they have in their hangar base? Or do they get unlimited numbers? Because this just screams lim unlimited numbers to me. We wiped their fighter fleet multiple times because you only get uh, two sets of fighters as the Republic in this. Like, when you drop an Acclimator in, if you lose your BTLs, you'll get one more set. Wow. We took out two of their Trade Federation cruisers. We lost 17 Venators. We lost 17 Venators. That is so painful. That is so incredibly painful. Unit in production. Oh, my we God. And we are back. So, after the stunning defeat, I'll pause it real quick, the stunning defeat at Endor, we've managed to, well, cripple, cripple their numbers, right? They've only got uh, six destroyers left, three of their heavy cruisers, and then five of their frigates on there, and then a few ground vehicles, and then a, a fairly substantial space station. So, uh, I've just started building up the fleet again, and it's... It's ready to go. I've already rebuilt the fleet. So you guys didn't see that because it just took a little while and there wasn't really anything going on. But we're going to hit them again. A war of attrition has begun. We don't have a lot of editors in this fleet, though. Uh, we've only got six. But that's what we're going to just have to work with because we cannot let them continue to rebuild. We have to move in fast. So we're bringing in the fleet to take Endor. Let's roll. So I cut out a lot of the last battle because, one, the battle was so big it started to get really laggy. I put in a few of the shots in there. I'm sure you guys saw a few of the in more interesting points. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do for some of these battles because they get so long and they outnumber me so greatly that I'm just kind of doing as much damage as I can. Makes me long for the days of, of Republic at War. All right, that's the ship battle right there. Holy shit, okay, let's do this. Welcome to the battlefield. Everybody General. just fire something. Fire. That guy's gotta die. Like, he's gotta die. Shields are down. Let's not have Copy them be our main. Forward target. fleet, take it down, take it down. Come on, it's, it should be dead already. I copy. Interdictor field engaged. Interdictor field engaged. Where do you want this? Target confirmed. Don't Swing let later. them run. Reporting. Do not let them run. Attack, position. Attack move to the enemy base. 
Now, attack moves should make them auto-attack enemy units as they come close to them and attack ships that they are good at fighting, right, guys? Right? All arcs. Focus fire on the shield generator. All BTLs. Focus fire on the hangar bays. My god, they've got so many ships still here. You can bring in reinforcements. My fleet is kind of derping around. Derp, 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 derp. Stop derping and move in. General, can't take much more of this. Shield generator should be down in just a couple more torpedoes. Torpedoes are away. Come on, boys. All right, shields are down. Hangers are next, followed by the communications array because I haven't seen your guys' comments yet on whether or not the communications array actually affects the reinforcements that they get. We're not messing around this time, though. Uh, arcs, 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 arcs. Where are you? Waiting in time, sir. Target communications array and take it down. Hangar bay should be dead. Switching targets to the communications array. How's the fleet doing? Really poorly. Good to know. Let's bring in the acclimator fleet. Come on, boys. Get to the fight. Get to the fight. All right, the rest of you. Target the space station and engage. They've destroyed our torpedo launcher. Wreck the space station. Concentrating firepower. And you guys just do what you do. Do what you do. Just guard this area. Guard the ship. We've lost our launch bay. We've launched. We've lost our launch bay. It did. Ready, Take, sir. Fire. Take him down. Take, Take him orders. down. Look how quickly this guy. They are going to kill these acclimators. Not good. Launch. Quickly launch fighters. Shields are down. It's your only chance. Launch those fighters. Actually, just start attack runs on this. Come on, get the BTL out. And bring the acclimator into the side here. Bringing you in close and a couple of dreadnoughts to back you up. That's the best I can do. That's all I can do for you. We're at build cap right now. So you're on your own. You guys hunt and kill targets. We've almost got the space station down. Attack that space station. We're gonna do as much damage as we can. Look how many ships they've already got. How are those bombers doing? Bombers, you, you just keep being beautiful. You're taking out that station like champs. Like freaking champs. That's what I like to see. Um, he is already lost his infark ability. Let's bring in more reinforcements on the side here. Acclimators, get your guns on him. Interdictor, get your guns on him. Benedictor, reinforce this area. We can take these two support ships out fairly quickly. His shields are still up. Good, 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 good. Take him down. You're in yet? Benedictor? Give me command. Give me command. Turn your damn radio on. Communication systems are online. Open fire. You have your orders. Broadside from all sides. Both Can't cannons bays should be able to shoot stuff. You're right in the middle of everything. Take it fire. Help him. Can't take much more of this. Fighting take this down. Angels. How are we doing? How oh, did we take the station? The station is down. I repeat, the station is down. Bring in the rest of the reinforcements. We can win this. Oh wow, we need anti-fighter support on this side. It's real bad. It's really real bad. Star cruiser here. Star cruiser here. You star cruiser should be taking more. care of this support Our fleet. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Indeed. How we doing? Take it fire. This is so much better than last Can't time we were here. The Republic would never give up. Take it fire. What we really Can't need is just these fighters to come in and just Watch break it. them. Light it up. Can't Light it up. You guys have your orders. Actually, what I want you to do is take out the support vessels. Take out the support vessels. We'll bring in more acclimators. Back you up as best we can. We have acclimators already in the field. They're just not doing anything. Get up here and kill something. Get up here and engage. Can you, can you like, intercept him? Take out those Waiting those fighters that are causing us trouble. Watch that crossfire. All right, take out the shield generator on him. So this is where we run into trouble over and over again. Their, their ships, I don't know. What's up with their ships? They just all seem to be so much more powerful. 
At least they're capital ships. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We're, we're starting to get work done, but just look at the damage that these guys are doing. Right here. Um, what do we need to bring in right now? Oh, I can't bring you guys into firing range. Come on, take out those fighters. I hear you've got a bit of trouble with the Seppies, General. What are your orders? Oh, bombers. Focus fire. Oh, you've almost got a shield down. You've almost got his shields down. You guys have torpedoes? Shoot through the shields. That's why we're going to bring in more dreadnoughts. Bring them in. Oh, they're ground forces. These are their ground shuttles. The dead. Bringing in reinforcements. Acclimators. You beautiful bastards. I can build you guys really quickly. So we're just going to start spamming you. How are we doing? Did we take out the enemy support vessels? No, we did not. This whole battle group. Focus fire on this enemy vessel. You guys, take him down. How we looking? Acclimators, you guys have told me multiple times the acclimators are great in groups. Well, they're in groups. And they're opening up on them. I know, I, I warped them right into battle, so they came in damaged, but... It's worth it to get the reinforcements here. Overwhelm them with firepower. Nice. It looks like we may have the... We may have Indoor under our control. Excellent. Wow, you've got just a hive of my fighters chasing you, and you're still floating. You're still alive. Come on, Z-95, begin your attack run. The wreckage everywhere. They're just so damn armored. God, they're hard to kill. It is going to be an absolute mess taking the larger planets. This was the weakest defended one outside of outside of Hoth. It's down. Switch targets. All of the, the rear fighters should be down, right? Yes. The entire enemy force to the south is dead. Take them down. Take those fighters down. Everybody else. Take it fire. Move up and engage the rest of the enemy troops here. We're bringing some more acclimators because they are expendable. This is what you guys do. You should not be surrounded by fighters any day of the week. Take those fighters out. Good grief. All right, just take out the base. Standing by. I copy. Oh, you guys have got this. Come on, acclimators, Take use those, fire. those Reporting. cannons, those turbo laser cannons. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is the battles that I like. Nice, smooth Take FPS, good number, good Get force on each side. Bring in some more reinforcements. We're gonna have to take this guy out. We've been, all right, this whole force to the south. Let me get you guys up here. Take this down. Actually, just attack move your way over here. You have your orders. Now move out. You're not firing. What? Are you firing something in that mess? No, you're not. Go after him. She's going to give you orders to move over here and engage him. The rest of the fleet over here, you're coming about, but the Venators are so damn slow. Come on, boys. You've almost got them. You've almost got both of these ships. He's going down. There, he's dead. Focus fire on this. Heavy frigate. What are you guys doing back here? What's that? More acclimators? Whoop. All right, I'm going to pause the battle. Where are my interdictors? I can't bring any in, and I don't think I have any. Oh, shit. I think all the interdictors are dead. We have one interdictor. Where, where are you located? I have no idea where you're located. Probably not even in the battle watch. I don't know what the range is on the interdictor. It could be the whole system, but I don't think so. It's been a while since I played vanilla. Gravity well generator, Gravity well generator has been started, and it's way the hell down here. Locomotive. Turn it off. Heading out. Get sir. up here. Position. Get up here. Setting course. Or just target their engines. Target their engines. Five seconds. Come on, boys. They've got one more engine left. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! He's not getting away. Light him up. Who got away? I think a couple fighters got away. Nothing. That's what's getting away. Because we're coming after you. Mmm. 
Ouch. Well, we can finally do a ground invasion. And that'll be what's going on next time on Dragon Ball. I mean, the Clone Wars. Z. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think of, uh, of my tactic here. Taking over Indoor, going after Hoth and Utapau, going around Mustafar because it's got a, a fleet that we just can't crack. Uh, we've got Tatooine and the Geonosis. We'll do a ground invasion and sneak in some commandos on Mustafar right before we take Geonosis, and that shall be the victory for the Republic, I think. That all relies on us taking out larger fleets than what we took out today, and that's going to be a problem. But we'll see how it goes. All right, I will see you guys next time on episode... Actually, the next will be episode 8? Not bad. Later, guys.